This certainly wouldn't be the first time a busy 30-something mum of two, has decided life is too short to spend hours styling long hair. Except this is no ordinary mum. Ever since Kate Middleton first caught the Duke of Cambridge's eye at St Andrews, in a see-through knitted dress, she's been all about the hair. Long, dark and shiny, styled into thick, bouncy curls that occasionally, very fleetingly, put one in mind of a well-bred cocker spaniel. So this new haircut, a good six inches off the overall length, is not just any haircut. It's a Duchess of Cambridge haircut. And as such of vital national importance. Because it signals a change of direction not only in the way we now view the Duchess, but also in the way she sees herself. For years Kate has seemed to be the perennial model of the girl from the estate next door, just the right side of demure to charm modder but sufficiently sparky to rouse Pater from his postprandial nap. The glossy long hair, the tasteful outfits, the nude heels and clear nail varnish, they've long been part of her signature look, designed to strike just the right note of benign neutrality. Lately, though, the Duchess has been expanding her style repertoire. For this year's Chelsea Flower Show she wore her hair off her face, along with a dark green rockers dress that, by her standards, was positively edgy. At her sister's wedding she looked amazing in Alexander McQueen, and again for Trooping the Color, and again at Ascot. For the opening of the V and as new exhibition wing she even wore a bold Gucci mini dress, trimmed in racy black and red. This polka dot number we see here is the envy of every woman, Dolce and Gabbana, the epitome of sexy, self-assured Italian fashion. She's even ditched the nude heels in favor of a much more relaxed, and on-trend, pair of block-heeled sandals. High heels would have been too much, this way she looks stylish but laid back. If there's one woman alive who has the figure to carry off couture, it's Kate. So it's nice to see her embracing a more fashionable look. That said, it's hard to wear S, S2017 McQueen when your hair is channeling the hunt ball, circuit 2003. That's why this new shorter cut is so notable. And such a success. It brings her up to date with her overall look, which is becoming gradually more sophisticated, as she settles into her role as mother, wife and full-time royal. Let's not forget, Kate is 35, an age at which most women really start to come into their own. Women this age are at the height of their powers, having overcome the uncertainties of their 20s but as yet unburdened. By the stresses and strains of their 40s. This is the magical time when a woman finds her own style, grows in confidence and really begins to understand what she wants out of life. In Kate's case, she's already done a lot of the hard work, married the prince, had two children. Now it's all about shaping the future for herself and her young family. In other words, she's a busy lady. And busy women don't have time for silly girly, flicky flicky hair. They need something feminine but practical. Another inch or two, and I reckon she'll be there.